now we need to um, scale this up because I wanted to see the snow and uh, you know make it look uh, like it's you know the headlines broken up that it's just not this uh, look to it so go back to colors move this down here and then see where it says X scale Y scale just roll your middle mouse button over and I'm pulling the mouse wheel back and see how it's coming up and it's all proportional and it's tiling across in there because we're filling it with the pattern so it's starting over and over and over again and also we can move this around to get exactly where you want it so I probably want it right about right there so now that headline is done we have the picture inside of it let me go back here and scale it up a little bit more okay now that I have headline done I want to add a drop shadow to it and I want what is in back of the drop shadow to show through the drop shadow because if you look around at shadows at your house they're not totally black and cut and perfect they kind of fade and disperse out now you can have a hard edge shadow that works in different applications but that's not what we're wanting to do here but we'll go over that anyways so what you do is you copy and paste headline and we should get two of them here yep there's two press control Z to put it back and then go down to colors and change it back to normal and it's change to black so we have to get this headline underneath the headline with the picture in it so right click it go down to level and lower to bottom or press the N key on the keyboard and there it's underneath the headline with the picture now press the arrow key to bring out your drop shadow and now we have this hard lined drop shadow now this looks really good as it is and we could actually even put some text behind it let's see I grab the text tool again draw a text box right click it go to sample text click that English just click OK and it fills it with the text and then I'm going to put it in the bottom and if I scroll in on this let's see you see how the text is not showing through the shadow so we're going to fix that so I'll click on the shadow and then you go down here to colors again and we can adjust the opacity so that when I start rolling back on the mouse wheel see how now you can see the text through the shadow I'll move it to about 50 percent and then zoom out here maybe not that much so now I can see the text through the shadow and it's kind of getting like this multi-layer look now and if I wanted to I could grab the image tool again double click it and grab this blue hills and then just image to frame and I want to turn off proportional because I really don't care if this is proportional it's just hills and then press the N key on the keyboard to get it in the back so now I have this uh, blue hills and headline and a shadow and everything's there probably not the best color combination but let's say that I wanted to have the blue not you know it seems like this blue is so dark that it's coming uh, out in front of everything else so I'll go back to colors and I want to watermark it I'm going to turn this down
so you can just kind of make out the hills so I'll see it's getting a little better may turn it down one more click it's probably 50 percent is good so let's say you want to move this around a little bit so click on the shadow click on the headline box right click and group them together now we can move all this together and if I want to have the text wrap around the word headline you can do that by going up here to group and you can use image frame you can see it's wrapping around let me pull this over so we can see it hope I'm not going over the 10 minutes here and now if you drag this around see that the text is wrapping around the word headline and it gives it a nice effect and that concludes this tutorial on how to put a bitmap image into text make a drop shadow make the drop shadow see-through um, adding image frames to your document, changing the opacity, and uh, now you have probably enough tools to play around with a little bit and see what you can make. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial on Scribus, and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.